Hi everybody, Dagrup here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. We're going to be talking top looks from the Chanel Cruise 2023-2024 collection, which just played out at the Paramount Studios in Los Angeles. So, there are eight looks that I liked the most from the collection. And this is one of those rare instances where I say, you know what? The fashion show was actually cool. The fashion show was super cool. Uh, the clothes were also okay. I have my issues with Vision EVR, as we all know. Uh, but I also think when she does something right, she really does it right. Now we're going to get to these looks. We're going to analyze them in detail. But first, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today and gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Deco, all spelled together there as well for extra perks. Thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged. I film these videos live, usually Saturdays or in the middle of the week. So join us in the live chats. I have my live code chat tours in the chats. Let me move to the side and let's cue in the first look. Okay, you guys, you're going to be surprised. Like, why, Jacob? Why? Well, first of all, I'm loving the hair, loving the Farrah Fawcett vibes. And it actually, it's kind of even more elevated and it's all ah, 80s. Love it. Now, even though, okay, hear me out on this. This is very rare for Chanel to do bell bottom sleeves. I, and this is not 80s, this is actually more 60s, late 60s, early 70s uh, style. The bell bottom sleeve is really working for me. It's something we don't see often, and I know it's not for everybody, I know, um, but such a vibe. I don't know why. Oh, and this tweed, when you see it up close, it it's woven in with a lot of pink hues and slight blue and pastel pink. So it's not white like it appears here. There's a little bit more depth to it. And then there's a little bow shoe. You make it a little girly, a little Wizard of Oz almost moment. Very Hollywood. Uh, Technicolor. Right before it goes into Technicolor, because here it's kind of black and white still, right? So it's a little bit tight on the waist, but these like two necklaces are just delivering, giving... I'm, I'm wearing a Chanel necklace as well, by the way. And earrings. Um, but... Uh, David says, uh, Jessica Parr, last season of Mad Men. Love it, says Ellen. Catches on my jewelry, says Andrea. Oh, the tweed. I like it a lot, says Dawn. Steph says, I love 60s. I would so wear that dress. I'm telling you, this is something refreshing for Chanel. Now, Coco, when she was alive, she did not do bare knees. She did not like bare knees. She would always kind of elongate the dresses to cover the knees, right? But the whole length of this thing works for me. I like that the collar is like, all the way up there, but then we have a lot of leg. And I like that it's kind of, the waist is quite high, and then it kind of elongates. It's a beautiful silhouette. And we don't see this at Chanel often, and this is why I chose this as one of my top looks from the show, because it's not like you can say, oh, I have this already from a year ago. Oh, I have this already from five, six years ago. You don't. You don't have this. This is the bell-bottom sleeves, it's a, it's a special exclusive moment for Chanel standards. So this is definitely something worth getting into your collection if you collect Chanel. And um, Vel says, I love this look. I love 60s. I would so wear that dress. Um, just lean, hey, sweetie. I like this look as well. Great length for the dress. Loving the shoes. And yes, it has that moment right under the breast area. But then this whole area here is very forgiving because it's an A-line cut, which means if you're a lady with a little bit more curvaceous, gorgeous, beautiful hips, this thing is going to make you look so attractive. You see, it's a very, very, very cool, uh, cool dress for, for curves in particular. Matter of fact, this is one of the dresses, the, the more curvaceous you are and the better it looks. This does not look... Uh, very, very flattering on somebody who's completely flat. So this is one of those rare instances where Chanel actually delivers clothing that are good for all sizes, you know? Uh, I love the look, says Marina. The 70s were my time. This brings me back to fun times. So there you go. Now, next one. Okay. For those of you, sorry, I just, uh, 
itchy. Don't do this at home, kids. I know it's a point, pointy object, but there's no other way to scratch yourself if you have makeup on and you don't want to smudge the makeup. Just letting you know. Play it safe. Okay. Such a vibe. Leg warmers. A Barbie-esque vibe. I mean, Chanel leg warmers live in ferret. Okay. The shorts, sure, not for everyone. But I love that they didn't just do a washed short, but they did a little gradient vibe with a little peachy sunset tone and light denim. Oh my gosh. But the one that reins it back in and takes us home, honey. Home is the top with an integrated choker bondage much for LA girl now I know this isn't for everybody here for this piece you need to be a stick okay if you want this to really work in the right way right in my opinion of course you could be more curvaceous and bigger but then you know the whole thing turns out to look like Versace more than Chanel because then this little V shape is going to kind of lay right between your cleavage and the breasts are going to kind of shove it to the center. I mean, it can look really sexy too, but I like it on her. I think they styled her perfectly because she has that bitchy vibe about her. Like, you know, like she would never wear something like that. But then honey, honey, boring on the streets and wild in the shits, if you know what I mean. Uh, but uh, this top, iconic. The cardigan is cute as well, but we know these Chanel cardigans. I mean, we've seen them before. Yeah, it's a beautiful color combo. Great. Cute cardigan. Love the twin set in general. Loving the whole twin set. But this top, it ends right there. And then it just kind of elongates and goes around the neck. That's something we haven't seen Chanel do yet. So I'm going to say it here and I'm going to say it now. This is a very much... LA, you know, the casting room or the casting couch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I'm not saying this because I, I'm saying like, oh, you know, the casting couch moments are fabulous. No, obviously not. But the fact that it looks like she's owning it. So delicious. Love this look. Love the whole vibe. Love the whole vibe. Love the hair. Love that she's so... That her whole vibe is so anally retentive, you know? She's so like... Gwyneth Paltrow. It's the ski accident moment in court. That kind of... I'm all dry, but I still got that eye. You know what I mean? Live in Ferret. We got the same makeup on, by the way. Although I did a little bit less... A black around. I wanted a softer eye for me. I wanted to deliver more 80s. Her darkness around the eyes is a little bit more 90s. Uh, I want that, that. You see what I'm, I'm doing? This whole sfumato uh, going on on my face. Like soft, soft, airbrushed. I think this is more 80s than, than this. But this is a vibe. Kenya says, this pink green is giving me the Miami vibes I live for. So, yes, the shoe has a little wedgy heel. Yes. Krabi Bizagi says, I love uh, the cardigan and uh, the tank top, the twin set. Yes. Kev says, they could probably pre-order the top <laughs> for me. No, I did not. I think it's gorgeous. I, it just, I, I mean, should I? I did not pre-order this, just letting you guys know. I, I mean, if I were, if I had a feminine body, I, I would totally <laughs> love this anyway so now you know why i like this one i could do without the bag i don't care for the bag okay just cover the bag just you see the bag is actually distracting because that shade of green is just not the right shade of you know it, it yeah it pops but look if we cover the bag look how much more soothing it is to the eyes the rest of the pastel combination of the look without that intense green bag you know let the tacky Lux YouTubers who like to buy those flashy, you know what I mean, Chanel bags, buy them. We know better. <laughs> um, David says, it's pretty, it's fresh. It's what people want after the past few years, right? Very Beverly Hills Hotel, says Alyssa. I know, live in. Let me show you the next look. This, these are my top, right, from the runway. Okay, hear me out on this one. I know a lot of you are not going to like this, but 
I was really struggling to find red carpet looks in this collection because a lot of them are very beachy. Let's go on, on the town. This, for a young actress, hear me out. We are, this is a Los Angeles cruise collection, okay? For a young teeny actress that has just starred in her first horror movie, she's just starred in Scream 8, you know, by the time, you know what I mean? Like we're looking into the future. And she's kind of having her introduction into the world of the stars. So she wants to wear Chanel, but she doesn't want to look like she's 50 years old. She's barely 20, but she wants to wear Chanel in Los Angeles on the red carpet. And you got all the stars on the stockings here and the little Chanel kind of flamboyantly and kind of playfully like written all over and the, and the heel, the little heel, this, okay. This might be that moment that Virginie was talking about the twenties and thirties, because these sandals, they do have that thirties strap going on in the front. So maybe this is all Virginie delivered in terms of twenties, thirties, Hollywood in this collection, in the footwear. Some of the footwear only. But the combination of these two, very Y2K, but with a twist. I see a young star wearing this on the red carpet. What do you guys think? This is why I chose this look, because I was really looking for something youthful for the red carpet. Um, Scream 8, LOL, I am gagging, says Lim Limorans. I'm telling you, I'm a huge fan of Scream. So don't come for me or come for me, but then I'll send Ghostface for you. But this is giving me such Jenna Ortega 10 years ago. I know she's like super young still, but like if Jenna Ortega were just beginning five, six years from now. Anyway, giving me awesome vibes for a young person. Kev says the stocking print is cute. They should use that on a canvas bag or t-shirt. Maybe they did. They just didn't use it in the fashion show. But you know how they have several bags that are made that are not hitting the runway, but they do hit the boutiques later. Tyler says, Taylor Mom's a vibe. Gosh, get a life. Pat Benatar, love is a battlefield. A little bit Pat Benatar. Hitchcock body bag vibe. Yeah, it does give us a little bit of a body bag, but I'm telling you, yes, it, it it could be something from Hot Topic, but you see, that's the twist. It's Hot Topic, Y2K Chanel. And I kind of like that twist. Simple, but it works on the right person, right age, for the red carpet. I, I was just looking for a look a youthful look for the red carpet, you guys. So that's the one that stood out to me. The only one, really, for a youthful look on the red carpet. There was nothing else for the red carpet for me. This is the only piece that worked for this specific instance. Let me show you the next one. It's the trash bag in dress form, says Jesse. Cha. Black Dahlia body bag, darling. Yes. Okay. Hear me out. Again, we got these little stockings, leggings moment, live in ferret. The, the glasses and the hair to the side with the little ponytail, the 80, oh my God, the earrings, the square ear. Listen, I live. Uh, the little clutch, well, it, technically I think it's a, a sequined uh, wallet on chain. We can do without, you know, Chanel bags are totally out. I really would not recommend getting those. But look at the little wedge sneaker with the little bow. Oh my God, such an 80s vibe. The, the skirt over the leggings and then the over the, the total look uh, the collar the the wide back to the future marty mcfly collar or or john hughes the rat pack collar this is the type of you know this is uh, 16 candles pretty in pink the breakfast club that's the collar okay uh and the sunnies are 80s. I'm loving this for the simple reason that this is finally, finally a Chanel outfit that doesn't take itself too seriously. This is why I chose this look. Okay, she's she has that resting bee face. Fine. She's not giving us happy vibe. Whatever. Models don't know what they're doing anymore nowadays. They're just not having fun anymore. They're all like too hungry and whatever. But you look at this, and if you didn't know it was a Chanel show, you would say this is not Chanel. 
And that's why I love it so much. That's why I love it so much because it's like, it's Chanel without being Chanel. I think that's very clever. And again, very clever for a movie. Oh my God. Stranger Things season five. Let's go down with a bang. Millie Bobby Brown in this for Stranger Things 5. Just saying. The sunglasses have been pre-ordered. Just letting you know. <laughs> Just letting you know. I love this. Would it, would it look good on everybody? Of course not. Too much. But this is where the separates come in handy. You just buy the jacket or just the skirt or just the leggings. You choose the one piece you like and then you combine it with your own wardrobe, right? It doesn't have to be a total look. But as a total look, this is very costumey in the best of ways. It doesn't take itself too seriously. And I would really love to see more of that from Chanel. I think my mom had an outfit like that, says Moni, in the 80s. Oh, Caleb says, I wish it had stronger shoulder pads. I think it's fine the way it is because let's not forget, it still is updated for 2023 slash 2024, right? So it's giving us past with present. It's a kind of a cool little time machine. The hair is serving. Oh my God, live, live for this hair. All right, let me show you the next. Okay. So obviously the hair is divine. Oh my God. This woman is a lion. It's a, a lion. But again, the bell, the bell bottom sleeve, similar to the first look, right? But I like this because it's not a dress. It's a jacket. You know, you don't want the full dress. You just want the jacket. And look how beautifully long tailored it is. The jacket goes all the way over the hip, all around there. Uh, so you don't need this little corset moment with the top underneath it. You don't need the shorts. You could just get that jacket. You don't want the dress from the first look, but you want that bell-bottom vibe from Chanel, which is super rare. Just get the jacket. Whimsical, playful, so Hollywood. Oh my gosh. This is super gorgeous. Just don't get the costume jewelry. Terrible. Um, again, the little Wizard of Oz moment, you know. They're not red. They're not ruby red. But they are giving us a little bit of that Wizard of Oz reference. I love this. I love it on her. She looks gorgeous. What can I tell you? Speaking as a person with a big forehead, <laughs> she listen, I mean, pinky and brain a little bit. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. The forehead is very well balanced with the oversized bell bottom sleeve. <laughs> Now I'm channeling my Joan Rivers, and I'm going to leave it at that before I get canceled completely. She looks gorgeous, by the way, as, 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 a, as a fellow big foreheader to another, uh, you know, I, we support each other. Uh, but yes, great point, Lamoron. Some of the models are curvier. She looks healthy. Look at that. Look at those gorgeous thighs. She is beautiful, beautiful. So anyway. There you go. Steph is also saying, yeah, I'm waiting for big foreheads to come back in vogue. Let me show you the next look. <laughs> Live in ferret. Okay. If I had a feminine body, I don't care how much I would have to do OnlyFans or whatever to collect the coin because this jacket is probably going to cost you with all the applique uh, 20k. Probably 20,000, 15 to 20,000. But this tweed, I've seen it up close. I kid you not, every single possible existing shade of pink and baby blue and green and yellow is in here. And it's lined in silk, in pink silk. And yes, it does have the little metal Chanel chain at the bottom. I think you can buy that camellia as a separate, but then both lapels have uh, are completely filled with silk pink flowers. Tyrian pink, Chanel's Tyrian pink. This little coat. Call me unalived. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And again, another very forgiving piece. If you're a little bit more curvaceous, look how it's not like cut here. It goes all the way down there. Slight A silhouette. It gives you that curve. It allows for the curves to, to be there. Gorgeous. The hair is giving. Um, the combination here is beautiful just because 
you see what they did here with the styling. They knew that they had to sell that coat, right? So what did they do? They're like, let's let the coat shine. We're going to give her everything in black. Okay, a hint of white around the collar, whatever. And, and a little bit of white here. But she is all in function of that coat. Yeah, the Minaudier. We're going to get to the Minaudier in my other video. Be sure to check out my review of the entire fashion show in another video. I posted also a video reviewing the entire fashion show of the Chanel Cruise 2023-2024 collection and then a second video uh where i review all of the chanel bags from this runway including this little minodia so go check out that video if you want to hear me talk more about this bag and follow me on instagram dacob cc all spelled together it's my instagram account dedicated to my chanel collection all the chanel pieces that i love all photos taken by me and also while you're at it follow me at Super Jacob Backup, all spelled together, also on Instagram. That's my main Instagram channel uh, account. So let me show you the next look. This is gorgeous, by the way. Leg warmers in black. Sure, why not? But it's 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 about the coat. I chose this look because of that coat. You know what I mean? Debbie's like, is that a Volkswagen bus bag? Yes. We're going to get to that in the bag video. <laughs> And with, a, with a surfboard on top, by the way. So it's giving us surfer vibes, California surfer vibes. You know, again, this is very 70s. It's not 80s, really. This is much more 70s. The jacket is so Jacob, says Kev. Let's start a GoFundMe. Oh, my God, Kev. If you start a GoFundMe for me to get this jacket... But it has to be a quick GoFundMe because I would have to pre-order it within two weeks because pre-orders close in about 10 days. And... I would have to pre-order it because I would need the biggest size, which is a size 50. Yeah, that GoFundMe. Oh, no, well, actually, no, I, I, I can pay it after I pre-order it. So I would have to pay it six months from now. So we have six months to do a GoFundMe. <laughs> Could you imagine? Anyway, love this jacket. But anyway, let's move on to the next look. Okay, hear me out. Living for the hair, living for the... I, I love her her vibe. I love the whole, like, you know, I love, I love that. I'm not even making fun of her. I live for that, you know, like, you know, that vibe, you know, some TikToker, you know, you know, the, the vibe, you know, the vibe she's giving that vibe. Now, this is a total look. Okay. I think this is a onesie. Correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't seen an actual slit here. Maybe it's a two piece, maybe it's maybe it's a sweater and pants, but I think this is a, an overall. Okay, it's a knit with palm trees that are all fluffy, moldy palm trees, and yes, there are sequins on this piece, okay? Uh, and then it has a golden shoe like that doesn't match at all, but that's why it matches because it doesn't match. The shoe actually matches the gorgeous hair. Love it. Exactly, Jesse. Oh my God, you stole the words out of my head. I was going to say this. She's serving a classy Peggy Bundy. Love and marriage, baby. Al Bundy's one and only. This is giving me Peggy Bundy vibes, but like, I know they were in Chicago, right? But this is kind of giving me Peggy Bundy vibes if she retired and went to Florida. Not necessarily LA. <laughs> A lot of people are not liking this. Uh, Justine says, no, just no. Oh, Val says, I like this one. I love it too. Now, for all the ladies who are watching here now saying, no, 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 no. Hold, hold that thought for a second. Like I said, I'm choosing the, the highlights from the, collect, from the collection, but you have to detach yourself from your own body for a second here. I'm choosing the pieces that would fit like that are very body friendly and I've chose those pieces, but I'm also choosing the pieces that are very editorial and the editorial pieces are not necessarily suited for every body type. So we're now trying to, if you were a buyer of uh, a, a boutique and then you have to select uh, the collection, you have to buy the collection for your boutique. You also have to be capable professionally 
to not think about yourself and detach yourself from yourself and also think about the bigger picture. Plus, don't forget, all of these brands also have a couple of pieces that are must-haves. And I have a sneaky suspicion that this is one of those looks that the boutique has to have, at least for the window, to serve the vibe of the collection. This is very editorial. And as such, I chose it because it delivers the vibe of the collection. Very like I'm in my PJs going to Target to get a little sain sain, and then on the way out, I'm gonna pass by McDonald's and get those French fries. You see what I mean? Very that moment. And yes, I could totally see Paris Hilton wearing this. I could actually, you know, whoever new and up and coming, oh, listen, Miley Cyrus could totally do this as well. Totally. Totally. Oh, Debbie says, this is like stuff my mom would buy me and I would like never wear. <laughs> Tyler says, this is probably going to be popular in the Middle East market. Yeah, probably, because it's covering. Very, very covering. Yeah, probably. But you just wait and see till some starlet wears this on some red carpet for some movie premiere. It's going to happen. Mark my words. But... I see that uh, the opinions are very, some people are loving it. Some people are really not liking it. Kev says, Rihanna post-pregnancy uh, outfit. Yeah, basic bag lady says, I would look good on Miley. Debbie says, I'll take the jeans and <laughs> Reeboks instead. MMM says, I see you pulling this off. Oh, I, 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 I wouldn't be able to pull this off, especially if it's a onesie. If it's a two-piece, I might ask how much is the card, how much is the sweater? Sweater weather, sweater weather, sweater weather. But if this is a onesie, how? How can I pull this off? Anyway, classy post Rona attire says Jesse. Let's see the next look. So, um, with the next look. Yes, I chose this one because this is literally, according to me, the only more mature red carpet look for a more mature person wearing it. I love it on her hair. Oh my God, her like copper brunette with this copper gold to die for. Of course, it's not going to fit every body type. It's not going to suit every hair color. But if you're going to wear it like this with a warm brunette, and these are not pants. This is an actual dress. Although, is it pants? If it's pants, it starts here. I don't think these are pants because that would be ridiculous if the pants started right here. Like it would have to start a little bit higher. So I do think this is a dress. It's just like how she's walking. It kind of bent that way. And I love that the sleeve is not tight. It's not fitted like very tight. It's loose. It's more also, again, very 80s. I don't know if Virginie thought that this is serving 20s, 30s. To me, this is serving 80s, late 70s, early 80s vibes. This is not serving 30s or 20s at all. But of all the dresses that, yes, there was a lot of black stuff, you know, that you could say for the red carpet, but it, it didn't deliver red carpet vibes. Not enough for Los Angeles red carpet vibes, like the glitz and the glamour. None of it really delivered Oscars. This is a little bit maybe loose, too loose fitted for the Oscars, but there's nothing else there. So this is the only look that I think is worth being in the top looks because I really was missing that one dress that is really Los Angeles red carpet ready. And this would be the one. And yet it's also still chill enough to be a cruise collection. You know what I mean? It's like a chill vibes cruise collection, but it can also be pepped up properly for the red carpet. Natalie says it looks like it has too much a fabric in the center area right here. I mean, it looks like a thicker fabric, so maybe the trick is to buy it a little bit, hmm, either you should buy it tighter to fit you tighter, depends on how your body type is, 
I think if you are a more rounder person, you should buy this tighter. So it shows off your curves. But if you're a very, very skinny person, then you should buy this a little bit oversized so that it looks like you wanted it bigger to, you know, to kind of swim in it. You know what I mean? I think that's that's how you can pull this one off. Um, and I kind of really love this color. It's like such a beautiful sunset gold going into orangey hues, very tequila sunrise a very Mel Gibson, a very Michelle Pfeiffer. If you know, you know. You know what I mean? Yes, this is a floral pattern, uh, Le Moron. Yes, it is. David says, I love the side ruching. Basic Bag Lady says, um, my thumbs are bananas when I type 70s Empire vibes. Can't tell where that waist is, though. I mean, this is a little tiny belt, I guess that they placed there. So I'm not so sure if you could take that belt off. And if you could take that belt off, if the whole dress just kind of falls straight, like a little bit like a tunic type of vibe, mumu toga tunic type of vibe, which why not? I can see somebody wearing this without the belt if it's detachable, just saying. Now, those were the only looks that I would say like, these are my top looks, okay? But now there's two more things I want to show you quickly. One, Okay, I mean, the fluffy Y2K earrings, no. Sorry, Chanel, you lost me there. And this fluffy choker with the double C, no, absolutely no. But, hello, the 80s sunnies with this bridge, the, this is a thicker bridge, with the gradient plastic now i don't want to say that these are like thermo changing color like when it gets hot or cold it changes from purple to i don't know if that's the case if that is the case omg so 80s if it's not the case and if this is just a fade still adore it Love it. These are my favorite sunglasses from the collection. I just honorable mention, honorable mention to the Sunnies. And the next one I'm going to show you is the simpler version. Also beautiful. Honey. I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -K. I mean, thinner bridge here, completely magenta. This is their token model. This is the... The lady that usually they, they don't know how to dress every season. This is a slightly more curvaceous one, right? And again, this jacket, really terrible for her. Again, they dressed her terribly. But whoever did her mug and whoever did her hair, whoever styled everything from the hair to the neck deserves an award because she is a slaying with the makeup, with the hair, with this, with these glasses. Awesome. The jacket, unfortunately, total loser. But this, this. So, pre-orders have been made. <laughs> you know, you know me and Chanel sunglasses. I cannot resist when I see a good one from the runway. So, I have written my sales associates, several sales associates for both models uh just saying so that that would conclude it uh vel says i want those shades uh tyla the glasses uh, just seems like yes the sunglasses are epic epic lemoron says f the glasses am gagging gagging they're amazing. Thumb up this video, you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite looks from the Chanel Cruise Collection were. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Uh, very Brooke Shields says, gosh, get a life. <sighs> Delicious. As they say, and I don't like the cliche, but as they say, chef's kiss. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumb up this video and subscribe.